Hello ladies and gentlemen, Brandon from Andy's Jazz Club here to show you something very special, an amazing piece of history that has been locked away in our basement for upwards to 30 years. What you're seeing here is a 1960s era Rogers Swivomatic drum kit that was left here in the late 80s, early 90s by Barrett Deems the world's fastest drummer of the golden age of jazz. <clears throat> Barrett used to gig here all through the 80s and 90s and uh, left this kit here uh, so that he wouldn't have to keep bringing it every week. And uh, when he passed in 1998, this kit remained in our basement in a corner, stacked up and <laughs> left to rust and collect dust for years and years. We almost even threw it away a couple times. A couple months ago, decided to take it upon myself to pull everything out of there, dust it off, take a look at what we had, and uh, after taking it apart, we discovered that this is a 1960s power tone set of Rogers drums in marine white pearl. The bass drum, we believe, was probably part of a big band kit because it's a 22 incher. It's got that double tom mount that's intense. <laughs> um, the serial number inside the shell date coded it to 1965. The 13 inch high tom um, serial number inside we dated that to about 1968. The floor tom also 1968. Um, pretty freaking cool. And the, the jewel of the, of the whole kit is probably the snare drum. This is actually a 14 by 5 inch Rogers Holiday model and the serial number dates it to 1963. So three of the four pieces are from Ohio, when Rogers was the Cadillac of drums, and just did a basic at-home restoration on these things, nothing special. Completely disassembled the lugs, the tension rods, soaked them in a solution to get all the rust and grime off of them. Obviously replaced the heads. We've just got Evans G2 coated heads on there right now. Um, <laughs> The shells themselves were in great shape. There was no water damage at all to them. Um, just scrubbed them down with hot water and soap and cleaned them up as best I could. Have, they, they have that nice yellow patina for the marine pearl. And uh, anyway, what are we gonna do with them? We are not going to sell this kit. No, no way. This is way too important to the history of Andy's Jazz Club and uh, Barrett was always a good friend of the club. So tonight and tonight only, we are gonna, we're gonna play on these babies. We're gonna play them hard, play them fast. And uh, from then here on out, we're going to display them in the club. So if you wanna see these babies, come on into Andy's Jazz Club and uh, take a look around and you will see the Barrett Deems Rogers drum set.